Man up. Thank you for joining C.E. Blooms. Coming out and checking out my channel. Here's I got some here. A little snip of something I want you guys to understand. And it's something that needs to be done immediately. And with the most sincere obligation put forth at least the businesses in our community, what we will be doing is developing a situation wherein we will actually be able to create employment for the people in the community. You not. <laughs> they did a scientific study, man. Women use about 50,000 words a day. A man only uses 5,000. <laughs> so ladies, by the time we get off work, we already use the words up. Anytime you have to rely upon your enemy for a job, you're in bad shape. <laughs> now, I mean, if you're in a relationship that ain't good, leave. <laughs> and once you can create some, I mean, some employment in the community where you live, it will eliminate the necessity of you and me having to act ignorantly and disgracefully boycotting and picketing some cracker someplace else trying to date him for a job. Nigga, get out while you can. So as you can see, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, t today, this afternoon, it's not our intention to discuss religion. Uh, we, we're going to forget religion. If we bring up religion, we'll be in an argument. And the best way to uh, keep away from arguments and differences, as I said earlier, put your religion at home, in the closet. Keep it between you and your God. Because if it hasn't done anything more for you than it has, you need to forget it anyway. On the other hand, some of you think you came here on the Mayflower. Nigga, get out while you can. Christian or a Muslim or a nationalist, we all have the same problem. They don't hang you because you're a Baptist, they hang you hang you because you're black. Had a day feels like losing your mind. Everything you do just isn't right. And peace of mind you cannot find. Don't fear for there will be another day. Round two. We will continue. Professor Clark, you will ask the first question of round two of Professor Mary Lefkowitz. Uh, at your own admission, you encountered J.A. Rogers four or five years ago. J.A. Rogers didn't say he was a historian. He was a searcher trying to find the role of the African personality in world history. He worked over 50 years of his life, gave his service, died broke. What gives you the audacity to think that you can dismiss Rogers out of hand? And what gave you the maturity to think that you can judge a writer like Sheikh Anta Diop, the finest historical writer we have produced in the 20th century? See, it's going astray. They don't attack me because I'm a Muslim, they attack me because I'm black. 
They attack all of us for the same reason. All of us catch hell from the same enemy. We're all in the same bag, in the same boat. We suffer political oppression, economic exploitation, and social degradation, all of them from the same enemy. The government has failed us. You can't deny that. Any time you live in the 20th century and you walking around here singing, we shall overcome, the government has failed us. Bad news at every door. Do you know this life what it's all for? And does when you can't take no more. A turn of it's full far, but you can make it. Life's a mystery, but you can change it. Sometimes the game is tough, but you must play it. But first you must believe that you can take it. Take it. Sometimes say it. This is part of what's wrong with you. You do too much singing. Today it's time to stop singing and start swinging. Life is too motherfucking short. Leave. If the bitch is nagging 24-7, nigga, don't take me away. How y'all say y'all say your prayers? Leave that bitch, she's killing you. Leave that bitch, she's killing you. You can't sing up on freedom, but you can swing up on some freedom. That Africa owes nothing to outsiders in regard to development because all of them declared war on African culture, war on African civilization, war on African ways of life. They began to bastardize Africa and confuse and create a kind of historical schizophrenia that the Africans had even got rid of to this very day. And they created whole words that did not previously exist, like Middle East. Middle from what? <laughs> Ladies, relax. Race eaters with nothing but gym shoes and a rifle and a bowl of rice. <laughs> Took him and his tanks and his napalm and all that other action he's supposed to have and ran him across the Yalu. Why? Because the day that he can win on the ground is past. So this government has failed us. The government itself has failed us. And the white liberals who have been posing as our friends have failed us. And once we see that all these other sources to which we've turned have failed, 
we stop turning to them and turn to ourselves. We need a self-help program, a a do-it-yourself philosophy, a do-it-right-now philosophy. Uh, It's already too late philosophy. This is what you and I need to get with. And the only time, the only way we're going to uh, solve our problem is with a self-help program. Before we can get a self-help program started, we have to have a self-help philosophy. Black nationalism is a self-help philosophy. What's so good about it, you can stay right in the church where you are and still take black nationalism as your philosophy. You can stay in any kind of civic organization that you belong to and still take black nationalism as your philosophy. You can be an atheist and still take black nationalism as your philosophy. This is a philosophy that eliminates the necessity for division and argument. Because if you're black, you should be thinking black. And if you're black and you're not thinking black at this late date, well, I'm sorry for you. But things don't seem to want to go your way It'll be alright if you just say, say Do you like that sometimes? Yeah. Up in uh, French Indochina Those little peasants Race growers Took on the might of the French army And ran all the Frenchmen You remember Den Van Poo? No! We don't hear shit. Sound like Charlie Brown school teacher. Wah 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 wah. The same thing happened in Algeria, in Africa. They didn't have anything but a rifle. The French had all these highly mechanized instruments of warfare. But they put some guerrilla action on them. And a a white man can't fight a guerrilla warfare. Guerrilla action takes heart, takes nerve, and he doesn't have that. Get out while you can. (laughs) And you're not going to win an argument with a woman. I don't give a fuck what nationality. He's brave when he's got tanks. He's brave when he's got planes. He's brave when he's got bombs. He's brave when he got a whole lot of company along with him. But you take that little man from Africa and Asia, turn him loose in the woods with a blade. With a blade. That's all he needs. All he needs is a blade. And when the sun comes down, goes down, and it's dark, it's even Stephen. <laughs> so it's the it's the ballot or the bullet. What? Your hair again? <laughs> you didn't notice I got my hair done. Okay, baby, look. Did you notice I got a new gray hair on my left nut? <laughs> so we even. We both didn't notice some shit. that's going on on this earth right now that he's involved in. Tell me where he's winning. Nowhere. Why some rice farmers, some rice farmers, some rice eaters ran him out of Korea. Yes, they ran him out of Korea. Ladies, relax. (laughs) 
Now, I mean, if you're in a relationship that ain't good, leave. <laughs> Life is too motherfucking short. Cassius Clay can sing, but singing didn't help him to become the heavyweight champion of the world. Swinging helped him. <laughs> can see this because if you don't see it you're finished